hallelujah praise god for coming your way again we are so grateful for this opportunity given to us as long as we are breathing in and we can breathe out it's a blessing it's not only material that shows that you are blessed as long as you are alive life itself is a blessing so be encouraged and always be strong don't bring your heart down because you don't have something god will always meet you at the point of your need amen today we are sharing something short the bible talks about when the king of assyria decided to attack jerusalem or to attack judea and that time the king that was ruling was called hezekiah in second chronicles chapter number 32 the king of assyria siege around the whole city of judah nobody could go out nobody could come in he stopped the water from flowing into uh, jerusalem or into judea but they were not uh, satisfied by stopping their water they also brought in army strong men to surround the whole city because he wanted to conquer the city for himself this was a hard time for hezekiah as a king so Sennacherib the king sent report to the uh, king of that time who is Hezekiah and he said will you surrender or else I will just annihilate or bring your whole city down but this is the report uh, the king Hezekiah sent to him or to the people let's read in 2nd Chronicles chapter number 32 verses number 7 Hezekiah told the people be strong and courageous do not be afraid or discouraged because of the king of Assyria and the vast army with him. For there is a greater power with us than with them. I like that. There is a greater power with us than with them. The same thing I want to tell you. There is a greater power with us than with them. Verse 8, he said, with him, that is the king of Assyria, is only the arm of flesh. But with us is the Lord our God to help us and to fight our battles. Hallelujah! That was the voice of Hezekiah. I am so excited. What do you think has become a greater challenge or a greater battle that is weighing you down and trying to limit you and make you miserable in life? Just remember in the scripture, he said with him is the arm of flesh. Senator or the king of Assyria was just an arm of flesh. God can take his life anytime. The breath can cease from him anytime. So Hezekiah was having confidence in God. He said, our confidence is with the Lord our God. With him is the arm of flesh, but is with us is the Lord our God. Praise God. It doesn't matter what is happening in your life now. Where lies your confidence and who is your trust if your trust is in the lord i assure you and i want to encourage you because the story ended with victory for hezekiah because his trust was not in his army his trust was not on his uh, surrounding or his soldiers but his trust was on the lord god and the people were encouraged and the people were confident and truly god came through for him Today, I want to just encourage you, if your trust is on God, I can surely tell you that whatever is fighting you is just an arm of flesh. And at the end, the arm of flesh will be brought down. The arm of flesh will be defeated. The arm of flesh will go down. Whatever is flesh or whatever is normal or whatever is canal or whatever is material which you are relying on can lose or can go anytime but if your trust and your confidence is with god and is on god and you are relying on him i can promise you whatever it is you come through successful may the lord keep you safe may the lord help you don't worry put everything on the lord and trust him whatever is fighting you it is just an arm of flesh but with us it is the lord our god who will always keep us strong the bible says with god i can run through the troop and with god i can leap over every wall may god help you to leap over every wall and run through every troop in jesus name amen